Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. So I'm going to be playing the Burning Blade deck. We've had some interesting matches so far. Um, that last one against the Gardevoir deck was strange. The Gardevoir deck kind of decked themselves out, and we were able to get a sneaky KO. I don't really feel right saying sneaky. A funny KO by using Tinka Tink's uh, single energy attack. I don't even remember what the attack name is called, to and then we had to flip heads with that attack to do 30 damage to KO a Zashin V. That was just funny, right? Um, and then my opponent kind of went supernova on destroying themselves, decked themselves out, and we won. Yeah, I don't know how that happened either. <laughs> so let's see, we have a mana fee start, a terrible start, honestly. We have a nest ball, and we will be able to get a Tinka Tink out on the field, which would be nice. We do have two Faulkners, we can draw two with those, but we really want a stadium out, our stadium out, uh, in order to take advantage of that. And it looks like we're playing against a Reggie deck. Been a while since these things have been popular, but I do remember, who was it? Was it uh, Tricky Jim? I, it might have been Tricky Jim did make this deck quite popular again so yeah uh we'll see what happens so they discard their entire hand and then use reggie drago to draw up and there we go we got all the reggies out and about ready to go we do get an ultra ball i'm gonna go ahead and nest ball we will nest and we will grab nope I want Tink a Tink. We got the Tink a ton already. We even got a reversal energy here. And we will go him Falconer. We get the rare candy. Next turn, we are set to go. I'm going to say no on the fire energy. We want those in the discard, anyways. Uh, tr 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 reversal energy. I'll play it now. And we'll see if we're able to get what we need next turn. And we'll just end our turn there. We're fully expecting to be KO'd, or Manaphy at least, to be KO'd this turn, but sometimes Reggies aren't the quickest, so we might be able to stretch this out a little bit longer, and who, who knows, you know? Maybe if they don't KO the Manaphy, we will need a Psychic Energy on the Tinka Ton, but yeah, beyond that... I don't see a reason. Oh, okay. They can just pass too. That that that's an option. We do get Avery, which is um, going to be quite disrupt disruptive to them. Uh, we will go ahead evolve up to Tink a ton and Avery. Oh, beautiful, beautiful hand right now. Uh, let's see. We got Trekking Shoes. Got to play that first. I feel and uh, I would love to get a Charcadet out right now. I, I would really love to do that. Let's see, they discard two. We'll go ahead, Trekking Shoes, we get another Faulkner. I'm gonna say no, and draw the next card. Armor Rouge, um, and we can Gathering Materials, gonna discard the Fire Energy, draw three. We do get Magma Basin, nice. We'll attach the Psychic Energy, and we wait. There we go. <laughs> uh, since they weren't able to play anything last turn, and we discard two of their Reggies, I'm really hoping that will slow them down enough where we can take serious advantage of this situation. Uh, so they already got Reggie Gigas back and Super Rod back, those Reggies they had to discard. Beautiful for us. They're going to go ahead and get that Reggie Lucky back out there. They've got all the Reggies again, but they don't have anything in the discard. Any energy, that is, for... Uh, what is it? Isn't that Reggie... Uh, Gigas's ability, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how that deck works. They draw up to four, and do they still not have any? Luminous Energy comes down, but they're still stuck in the active with a two energy Pokemon. Um, really not much is going on for them. So we get another, <laughs> another Ultra Ball, holy cow, that's a lot of Ultra Ball. And we are going to play Ultra Ball and discard two Ultra Ball in order to grab a Char Cadet, because that's what we're doing right now. Um... We'll play that. We will play the Magma Basin. We'll play the Faulkner. Draw four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, we will use the Magma Basin. Add two Char Cadet there. And I'm going to Gathering Materials, discarding the Heavy Ball. Uh, I don't know if we have anything, any basics important di uh, prized right now, but I just felt like the extra cards were going to be uh, better served for us, right? So Manaphy comes down, we'll retreat the Manaphy, put the Tinkaton into the active, and swing for the fences. 
108 damage, KOing the Reggie Drago, uh, removing their draw. However, this Reggie Gigas is now going to be a bit more important to them. So, yeah, interesting to see. We do get Char Cadet from the prizes, so I guess we did have a basic prize. But I'm interested to see where they go from here. Uh, see Reggie Steel coming down. That's interesting. Um, so Armor Rouge might actually see some play here because it hits weakness on the Reggie Steel. It also burns. I'll do 110. That's not really enough to get any KOs, but it's still interesting, right? So double turbo coming down onto the Reggie Gigas. That might have been a mistake, depending on where they're at, right? So let's see. A 150 can KO anything I've got. Char Cadet, Nest Ball for Tink a Tink. Beautiful. We will Magma Basin. I think that's other Char Cadet. I think that's what, how I'm doing this. Uh, we could boss KO the Regigigas. Is that worth it? I want to say yes. Yes, it is. So we're going to boss the Regigigas and KO it. Do we want gathering materials? Psychic energy is generally pretty good for us. We're going to throw one right there on that Tinka Tink. And then we're going to just attack, I think. How many Falconers do we have in the discard? Three. So as soon as we play our fourth Falconer, I don't really see a reason to hold on to all these Magma Basins. We're doing pretty good on energy right now. So, yeah, that's interesting, at least. So we boss KO'd their Reggie Gigas that had the double turbo. Now they kind of have things in the discard so they can attack, right? Reggie uh, Draco here can do 140, which is all they need by accelerating all three of these energies under the Reggie Drago. They have enough energy there to do what they need. So, very interesting stuff here. They just need that Reggie Gigas back. And, like... Let's see, what is that? Super Rod. Super Rod coming down. That's beautiful. They need to get that Reggie Gigas. They've got a lot of ways to get that done. They draw two cards with the Reggie Drago Dragon Horde. Right? Yeah, that's Dragon's Horde. Forgot the possessive S. Um, but if they're not playing down Reggie Gigas, they're not really doing the combo, right? So that's just going to be benefits to us. There's a Fighting Energy coming down for that Reggie Rock. Okay, switch cart. Just going to do Reggie Gate, it seems, and search for a Pokemon. They got Reggie Gigas out now. Good for them. Rare Candy. That Tinkaton. That Tinkaton gets the Special Energy. Uh, Magma Basin. I'm going to go for another Char Cadet here. Awesome. And Tink a ton. Well, gathering materials, the fire energy away. Uh, we get another Tink a Tink and a rare candy. I mean, we got no Pokemon on the discard. That means we probably have another Tink a ton in the deck. And this is just seeming too good to be true right now. Uh, we got Iono. I don't really want to play that, though. So we'll gather materials and discard the Iono. Know. Done. We draw up. We get another Armors. We get another Char Cadet. And we'll attack for 180. You know? And most likely, they have a Regirock in their hand. They put Regirock out instead of, say, Reggie Ice or Reggie Steel for a reason. Uh, probably because they have the Regirock in hand. There's that other special energy for the last Tinka time. This is beautiful. Tinka Tons just taking on this Reggie team, which is fantastic for us. Trekking shoes coming down. They do take the first card that they were given, which apparently was that Reggie Rock. And they can still Dragon's Horde, but they have enough to attack Tinka Ton. I don't know coming down. I don't know is very harmful to us. This hurts a lot. We get Cerule Edge, we get Iono ourselves, we get Trekking Shoes. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. Yeah. What 
can we do? I imagine we're just going to trek in shoes. We're going to take something. Uh, and I don't know, you know? Uh, I think that's about all that we can do right now. Yeah, they knock out our Tinkaton. We have the KO right back at them. So, yeah. 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 We get another trekking shoe, so let's go ahead and play these things. Magma Basin, no. I don't know. Okay, I guess we have to take that one. Uh, Char Cadet, I'm going to say no. I know that might seem strange, but that's what I'm going with. Oof, we got Tinkaton. That means that has to go to the bottom of the deck. The other rare candy's down there, though, too, right? So maybe that's a good move. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to Magma Basin, though. Putting a Fire Energy onto this Char Cadet. And uh, gathering materials, discarding the nest ball, and draw three. I like that idea. EXP share. The Tinker Tink. Let's see. Two energy. We got that. We got those. Probably not Super Rod yet. Special hammer for the KO. So we're down to two prizes. They've still got five prizes remaining. Um, four after this next turn. I'm sure they're going to figure out a way to get the attack off. And then we'll be in trouble, right? Uh, but we only need to take one more KO. That's the beauty right now. We take one more KO, then we have Radiant Charizard take the final KO. Whatever it might be. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm sitting at least. We got all four of our fire energy out on the field. I'm not feeling great about that, but it's not terrible, right? So they're going to go and play Pokestop, discarding a couple energy. Was it an energy, a Pokestop, and Professors? So one energy, but that does mean that they get to attack as much as they want, right? Oh, they just gave up. Okay, so we get that victory. Um, not sure if it was earned, but... Uh, we got the victory. Tinkaton taking down Reggie Drago. It was very nice having that Tinkaton just one hit KOing these single prize Pokemon. Sure, we were single prize Pokemon, hoping for that prize trade to be in our favor. Uh, when the prize trade is even like this, it's really about who can go faster. And usually, Reggie's are not a slow deck, so I'm really proud of Burning Blade being able to take care of these Reggie's and you know just show off so well what it can do so thank you to my opponent for putting up a one heck of a match and thank you to you for watching this video i really appreciate it i appreciate everyone that watches my videos and i would appreciate if you go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our final burning blade deck or burning blade gameplay video tomorrow and some, go to the discord where we can hang out have a blast um you know i really want to figure out a day to do uh uh viewer battles you know i think that could make a fun week i got some hectic stuff coming up in my life for the next two years um so it'd be really great to like you know do some stuff with the community and just have time to relax a little bit and of course until next time keep playing jank